Filling out a Panini album is quite simple. You open up sticker packs, trade with friends and family, and even strangers, all with the common goal of completing the whole thing. And to many around the world, it just wouldn't be a World Cup without one. Panini stickers and the football aspects of it certainly is a, a cultural phenomenon. People are already crazy about the, the Russia World Cup Panini album. The atmosphere of a World Cup isn't complete without the album. Around the months of March, April, May, um, collecting the Panini album for the World Cup becomes a necessity. 2014, Brazil. 2010, South Africa. Opening the packets and seeing if, if they're ones that you need, sticking them in and trying to complete it. Uh, just opening the packs, you know, the, the, the adrenaline rush to see who you're going to get, which players you're going to get. 2006 Germany, 2002 Korea, Japan. Something you need to do, um, it's kind of a, like an objective to complete the album before the World Cup starts. 1998 France, 1994 USA. It's going to be a great two months of, of trying to finish the album before the World Cup starts. And for people in, in England, it will probably be more of a highlight than when the tournament gets underway. It's massive in its homeland, obviously, in Italy. It's massive in Brazil. It's massive in Germany. It's now massive all over the world. I've got friends in Europe and South America and, and all over the USA that that enjoy it and we chat about it every World Cup and, and uh, we all get our sticker books. People in Brazil get really crazy uh, collecting the Panini World Cup albums. I believe it's clear to see why us Argentines are so obsessed uh, with uh, collecting these Panini albums because it's it's kind of like an extension uh, of our obsession with football, the national team and the World Cup and what it means to us. You go to school and change the stickers to your friends. Teachers need to prohibit the the changes of stickers. It was a way to, to have a shared experience with, with my school friends. Before school, during the breaks, at lunchtime. The whole school was collecting the album, boys, girls, um, the, the bigger guys, the smaller guys, everyone was exchanging stickers. It was a craze for a couple months. Spending so much time swapping, trying to trying to get those elusive stickers, trying to do deals with, with, with people, trying to make sure that, that I was the one that got one over my friends rather than the other way around. I began to really immerse in all those teams I didn't know about, like Iran and Trinidad and Tobago and the Ivory Coast players like Ali Karimi and Dwight York and Didier Drogba. It's what got me into football. It helped to educate me about football. I remember since I was a child, collecting the stickers was such a, a great, great way to, to know about the teams, about the players and the stadium, the cities. It was around that time that football really clicked for me and I became the obsessed man I am right now. People think it's only a child hobby to collect the stickers from the World Cup uh, Panini album. But in fact, here in Brazil, people in, in, in their jobs, they can concentrate because they, they, they can't stop counting how many stickers are left to, to get the full album. There are very few things that I was doing when I was six years old that I'm still doing now. I'm in my 40s and, and I'm even doing them with, with people who, are, who I've known for about 40 years. People get, go to the bars and they just uh, take the, the stickers through their pockets and say, oh, do you have, uh, can you change Robinho for uh, Ronaldo? And I used to have this huge, huge pile of stickers to exchange and I exchanged the, the whole of them for the four remaining stickers I, uh, to complete that album. Musa Sissoko from France. Then I'd have uh, Sergio Romero and uh, Javier Mascherano, Russian midfielder Denis Kloshakov. And with those four, I finally complete um, that uh, body album after such a long time. By the end of May, I almost didn't make it. The first one I, I remember collecting was uh, 1994 USA. And I remember that after the World Cup, I didn't get the album full. So we went to a Panini office and, or something like that. 
with my father to get the, the stickers that were missing. The St Mirren badge from Football 79, for example, which is the one that I, uh, the one that got away for me. I remember trying to get Ernie Stewart that that World Cup, and um, you know that was that was one that I hunted down. Remember World Cup '90? Do you remember that? Does anyone have that? Yeah, folder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed number four, which was the mascot, the silver mascot. That was the only one you missed? So the yeah. only one I missed, and I had to send, like, you know, like, the 10 Swiss francs in an envelope with, like, uh, like the, the, you had to cut the back of the uh, Panini album yeah. out yeah. to, like, cross which one you want and send it in, and then I got it back, like, two weeks later. Towards the end, obviously, there was only a few that I need, and it, it becomes an obsession. It was something unique when you got the last sticker and get the album full. I can't wait to see which Team USA guys are going to be in the world. Oh, wait. Panini stickers are evocative of my childhood and a very happy part of that childhood. I began to collect uh, Panini albums when I was seven. It was during the 2006 World Cup in Germany. In 1994, when I collected my first album. It was probably about five years old when I began. I was given an album and it just uh, it just captured the imagination. I, I I saw all these blank spaces, nearly nearly 600. How was I going to fill it? This album, in fact, was collected by my father, and he was the reason that I I love albums uh, of World Cup nowadays. Now my friends are getting kids who are get, who are having kids who are getting involved with it, and and it's fun to pass down that that um, you know that tradition around World Cup time. It's, it's a shared experience. A, a dad or, or a mum can do it with, with their children. Adults can do it with their friends and children can do it with their friends. And uh, I, I expect that phenomenon to continue for a long time.